Srila Prabhupada Ki. Am I audible? Not much. No, two plates. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Ki. Radhamadhava Kunja Bihari. Kundalini Pahadi Girivara <laughs> Mira
Thank you. It starts with prayers. Oh, Madhyana Timirandasya, Jana Anjana Shalakaya. Chakshuru Militam Vena, Satmai Sri Gurave Namaha, Sri Chaitanya Manobhishtam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam, Dadati Swapadantikam, Vandeham Sri Guru, Sri Utapadakamalam, Sri Guru Vaishnavamscha, Sri Rupam Sagrajatam, Sahagaratinatan Vitam Tam Sajivam, Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Ratha Krishna Padan Sahakarna Lalita Sri Vishakhan Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Rathapla Kanta Namostute Patakanjana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Purishabhana Sute Devi Pranamami Haripri Vancha Kalpa Jumpeshka Kripa Sindhu Devacha Patitanam Pavani Pyo Purishabhisho Namo Nama Namo Nama Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve, Goramari Pracharine, Nirvishesha Sunyavadi, Paschatyateshatarine, Jesri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhara, Sri Vasadi Gora Bhaktavrunda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Hare Rama Hare 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 Hare
0.2. Read out, then we'll start discussing. Sanjaya Uvacha Drishtvatu Pandavani Kam Vyudham Duryodhanastada Acharyam Upasangam Ya Aja Vachanam Abhravit Sanjaya Uvacha Drishtvatu Pandavani Kam Yudham Duryodhanastada Acharyam Upasangam Ya Raja Vachanam Abhravit Sanjaya Uvacha Drishtvatu Pandavani Kam Vyudham Duryodhanastada Acharyam Upasangam Ya Raja Vachanam Abhravit Sanjaya Uvacha Drishtvatu Pandavani Kam Vyudham Duryodhanastada Acharyam Upasangam Ya Raja Vachanam Abhavit Hey, <laughs> Sanjaya Uvacha Drishtvatu Pandavani Kam Acharya Upasangam Ya Acharya Vachanam Abhavit Anyone else want to try? Sanjay Uvacha Drishtvatu Pandavani Kam Vyodham Duryodhan Ustada Acharya Upasangam Yama Rajana Vachana Mabhravit Sanjay Uvacha Sanjaya said Prishtva Seeing To But Pandava Anik Anikam The soldiers of The Pandavas Ayudham Arranged in a military phalanx Duryodhana, King Duryodhana, Tada, at that time, Acharyam, the teacher, Upasangamya, Trochin, Raja, the king, Vachanam, words, Abhravit, spoke. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace Abhay Charanara in the Bhakti Vedanta Srila Prabhupada Ki. Translation. Mm 
Dhritarashtra was blind from birth. Unfortunately, he was also bereft of spiritual vision. He knew very well that his sons were equally blind in the matter of religion. And he was sure that they could never reach an understanding with the Pandavas, who were all pious since birth. Still, he was doubtful about the influence of the place of pilgrimage. And Sanjaya could understand his motive in asking about the situation on the battlefield. Sanjaya wanted, therefore, to encourage the despondent king and thus assured him that his sons were not going to make any sort of compromise under the influence of the holy place. Sanjaya, therefore, informed the king that his son Duryodhana, after seeing the military force of the Pandavas, at once went to the commander in chief Dronacharya to inform him of the real position. Although Duryodhana is mentioned as the king, he still had to go to the commander on account of the seriousness of the situation. He was therefore quite fit to be a politician. But Duryodhana's diplomatic veneer could not disguise the fear he felt when he saw the military arrangement of the Pandavas. So, all of you attended the last class, the first words. So, first words is Vritrashtra Vaja, Dhrmakshetre, Kurukshetre, Samaveta Yutsavaha, Mamakaha, Pandavash Chaiva, Kim Akarvata Sanjaya. So, in this, a lot of discussion happened. I hope you remember. So, what is the very important thing you understood from this particular verse? What you feel? Like, what is very important in that? Dharmakshetre, Kurukshetre, Samavetaha, Yuyutsava means in Dharmakshetra, Kurukshetra. Kurukshetra is Dharmakshetra. Samavetaha, all joined together. For what? Yuyutsava. Yuyutsu means for the purpose of fighting. Okay, that's common. Everyone can understand. Simple. Next verse is very, very important. Mamakaha Pandavas Chaiva Kimakruvatu Sanjaya. So Mamakaha is a very important word there. That makes a lot of difference. That's why that verse is first. That is the reason that first verse, because fight can happen for anyone, anytime. Nothing great in it, actually. But because of the influence of Kali. Dhritarashtra, as well as many such individuals, are having an attachment to material bondings. That is considered as mamaka. Let's understand a little more there, then we can go ahead to this. Then we'll understand a bit, little more better way. So, what is this mamaka? What is this mamaka? My sons. There is one more person, same way thinking like that, in the same army. Many, but one more. That's why next verse starts with his name section. Acharya. Great Acharya he is, but only one fault. Dronacharya is a great Acharya, but one fault. What is that? Mamakaha. Mamakaha, his son. Son. Means relation, blood relation. So, we, how to come out of that? How we can come out of that? It's not so easy to come out of that. That is the reason Srila Prabhupada says to come out of that. This process of Krishna consciousness is very, very important. Because today is a friendship day, all of you know. <laughs> we all want to make friends with many people. But our real friend is Lord Krishna. So, Hurdam Sarva Bhutanam, you might have heard this word, Dhyatvamam Shanti Rikshati. One will get real peace when one considered Lord as friend or a beloved or master, whatever way. Only Lord, no one else. So that is what the subject matter to address with. So all of us, mostly, means living in this material world, mostly all of us dealing with the material subject matter, we all have the influence of material energy to us. Because of that, we are always under the influence 
and we always have an emotion towards leaving entity and with that emotion we bodily connect we bodily connect that bodily connection is called as mamaka so he is so much attached to his sons dhritarasha is so much attached to his sons mamaka other side pandava even though his own family members but however they are not directly related directly in the sense little far little far so very important to understand in this pandava you all know pandava's mother is kunti maharani how many sons kunti maharani had is it three but all of us say five <laughs> All of us say five. That is what she doesn't have, Mamaka. She doesn't have me and mine like that. Her Madri's son, she considers her son. Madri's son to Nakula and Sahadeva. Okay, she considers her son. There itself we can understand how Pandavas. Are brought up by Mother Kunti with fully Krishna conscious lifestyle. They had fully Krishna conscious, nothing else. Krishna is in the center in his their life, but here, who was the center? Shakuni was center. <laughs> Shakuni was center. Everything is revolving around Shakuni. Shakuni was managing everything. So totally different scenario. So this is what the first words talks about the feelings of Dhritarashtra. He want to fight. Actually, he want means he want fight should happen. But he shows such a way that he don't want. He want he want to be equal to everyone. This is how currently we behave. We show externally. We show internally something is going on. So that effect has to go from us until unless that effect doesn't go, we cannot become closer to Lord. The Lord don't like this. This behavior is called as. What kind of behavior it is? I don't know in English. Cheating kind of thing or whatever word you can use. Dual. Ah, uh, Gomukha Vyagra. It is Gomukha Vyagra. Means like a cow, but inside like a lion. So Gomukha Vyagra behavior. One should overcome. Otherwise, we cannot become. We even can't actually really chant also because to chant one has to be very very humble, like a blade of grass. Pranad api suni chena taro api sahishnuta and should be tolerant. Then only we can chant better. One should be humble. Doesn't mean that we don't fight. Shri Lakshmi says we all chant, chant. Doesn't mean that we don't know fighting. All these great warriors like Arjuna etc. are fully Krishna conscious, but they are great warriors. And during the time of Rama, Rama was obviously Lord himself, and their followers like Anjaneya etc. were great. Vaishnavas, they all know how to fight. So fighting spirit is there inside. But see, they will not simply use the fighting. We will not simply use the fighting. That's what Trinada Pisuni Chena Taro Rapi Sahishnuta. We should tolerate as much as possible. If it is beyond capacity, then only fight will happen. Same thing happened in Arjuna's case means uh, Pandava's case. In fact, in Krishna's case during the Shishupala, Shishupala's Vada, we'll understand that also if it comes here. During the time of Shishupala, actually he didn't kill Shishupala for the for purpose of telling lies or offending. By seeing others getting more of, you know, stronger, who is telling so much, that's why Krishna killed. <laughs> that's the main reason. Uh, our uh, Bhima got very angry because so much of offensive words Shishupala was taking in the Rajasuya courtyard. So much of offensive things he was talking. We all know hundred hundred. Hundred right. times, no, all of you, because every one of us might have seen the serial. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it, Mahabharata serial? So that's the subject. So we'll go ahead to this first now. This is a small prelude. Kurukshetra already Prabhu, you explained very well the scenario behind Kurukshetra. Okay. Here two verses are very important. Then the names of the uh, yodhas will be explained. Sanjay watch. So all of you know who is Sanjay. Who is Sanjay? Secretary of Dhritarashtra. Okay, and he is very close friend of Arjun actually. And not only that, 
he got all learning from whom? Vyasadeva. And specifically, he got special vision to see the battle without going there. Means like a television kind of, kind of vision he had. So he is telling. And he is a great devotee of Lord Krishna. And he is very pious. He is considered as second Vidura. After Vidura, next is he only. Vidura is considered as Dharmatma. He is uh, one of the person who follow dharma. Means he is a separated part, part, part of what we can say, Yama, Yama Dharma Raja. From Yama only he came. Yama took three births, three in the same time. Who are they? Any idea? Yudhishthira? Vidura, one more. Any idea? Three. Something Swapacha? I don't remember the next word. Swapacha? Anyone know? Okay. Anyhow, I forgot it. <laughs> I, I heard this long back. Three. Same time, three. <laughs> this is the beauty of spirituality. We can't actually understand how this can happen. So this way, Sanjaya is very pious and he don't know actually duplicity. <laughs> but still, to please Raja, he takes it like this. Drishtva okay. This is who is who is seeing Duryodhana is seeing and Sanjay is explaining it. Okay. Drishtva to Pandavanikam. Drishtva means seeing. So both armies are there. Okay. And Duryodhana is seeing. Whom he is seeing? All Pandavan. And party. Pandavan, Pandava party. Vyudham means how nicely arranged. Duryodhana. Who is seeing? Duryodhana. Okay. This much is seeing. Okay. The word Drishtva is very, very important actually. The word Drishtva. Okay. We all see. He is also seeing. What he is seeing is different. What we are seeing is different. For example, imagine that in a village, in a village, there is no one wearing chappal, slippers. And one guy who is selling slipper goes there and thinks no one wears slipper. What is the use? And comes back. Another vendor goes, same way. He says, no one is wearing. So, I have good business. He thinks. So, vision, seeing. How he is seeing. Similarly, here, how Duryodhana is seeing. This seeing is for the purpose of fighting. There, Dhritarashtra thinking that they may compromise. He is thinking. But in this verse, it is clear that he is not going to compromise. The Dharma Kshetra is not going to influence this guy, Kali. He is Kali personified. Okay. Drishtvatu Pandavanikam Vyudham Duryodhanastada Acharyam Upasangamya. Who is Acharya? Dronacharya. We will understand more about Dronacharya. Upasangamya, coming closer. And Raja, who is Raja? Actually, Dhritarashtra. But here, Sanjay says, Raja to whom? Duryodhana, okay. Vachanam Abhravit. And he starts speaking like this. Next verse, he talks. Duryodhana. Acharya. Acharya means Guru. Okay. Duryodhana is supposed to go to whom? Supposed to go to Bhishma. Because he planned the military. Okay. He planned the military properly. And even he is a grandfather. Not only grandfather, it is something like father only. For example, Arjuna party and all used to call him, what is it? Tata means father. Uh, but lovingly, even though his grandfather, he, they used to call father only. Then Vishnu Pitama used to tell, no, I am not your father, I am grandfather. Like that, it is there. So Acharya is Dronacharya. And Dronacharya is very important personality. Most of you know about him. But however, here we should understand that Dronacharya had come, what is his uh, father's name, any idea? Bharadwaj. And since he came in the Droni, Droni means what? Dona, Dona. Water. In ceremony, under we use Dona for having some prasada, we Dona prasada, we Dona. That's only Drona. In banana leaf, we do actually. That is called Donne in Kannada. Drona. That's why Drona came. Anyhow, pastime is there, Apsara, they are seeing, and Patana happens. 
ओके आचार्य ही सपोज टू बी आचार्य ओके बट हियर प्रॉब्लम इज ही इज फॉलोइंग डाउन लिटिल बिकॉज आचार्य सपोज टू बी ब्राह्मणा ब्राह्मण जनरली इज ए टीचर नॉट ए फाइटर ही टीच अस टू फाइट ही नो नीड टू फाइट एक्चुअली सो मेनी कमांडर चीफ आर देर ही नो नीड टू फाइट सो ही हैज अ क्षत्रिय टेंडेंसी he has the kshatriya tendency that's why he is not completely uh, brahmana completely brahmana even though he is a brahmana but however many his qualities when he was teaching to uh, karna he didn't teach right did he teach to karna he didn't teach one more person he didn't teach who is that ekalavi we'll understand that okay when another chapter comes okay so when he was teaching to one more person even though death is there for him that was comes next but still he taught that is the brahmanic qual quality drishtadyum drishtadyum na supposed to he got birth to kill him only but this acharya great acharya taught yes because what is the spirituality here we have to understand that all of us has to die one day but duty is first we have to do that duty and his duty as a varnashrama follower of varnashrama brahmana he has to teach if qualified person comes he saw the quality in him because he is a kshatriya karna was not kshatriya he was he was kshatriya but however he, he cheated no suta putra he actually one sense and uh, what is that ekalavya ekalavya was kshatriya but he didn't learn directly indirectly he started learning okay he was belonging to who where darasandas very dangerous person as say krishna only killed him krishna only killed otherwise he will destroy that much powerful much disturbance will be there acharya raja sarcastic it is raja raja is supposed to be who dhritarashtra here to understand it one raja means he has so much influence that i want to become king i want to king so by telling him raja at least little satisfaction can happen for dhritarash little satisfaction means he had all quality of raja and hankering to become king that's why he is fighting right by that telling that addressing him as raja sanjay addressing him as raja dhritarash will become happy little satisfied so raja vachanam abhra so next verse we go आचार्य महतीद्रुपदुत्रेण तव शिष्येण धीमता So I'll read the translation and report. Oh my teacher, behold the great army of the sons of Pandu, so expertly arranged by your intelligent disciple, the son of Drupad. For but Duryodhana, a great diplomat, wanted to point out the defects of Dronacharya, the great Brahmana commander in chief. Dronacharya had some political quarrel with King Drupad, the father of Drupad Draupadi, who was Arjuna's wife. as a result of this quarrel drupada performed a great sacrifice by which he received the benediction of having a son who could be able to kill dronacharya dronacharya knew this prep perfectly well and yet as a liberal brahmana he did not hesitate to impart all his military secrets when the son of drupada drishtadyumna was entrusted to him for military education now on the battlefield of kurukshetra drishtadyumna took the side of the pandavas and it was he who arranged for their military phalanx after having learned the art from dronacharya duryodhana pointed out this mistake of dronacharya so that he might be alert and uncompromising in the fighting that is sopacha valmiki i remember sopacha valmiki duryodhana pointed out this mistake of dronacharya so that he might be alert and up uncompromising in the fighting by this he wanted to point out 
not be similarly lenient in battle against the Pandavas, who were also Dronacharya's affectionate students. Arjuna especially was his most affectionate and brilliant student. Duryodhana also warned that such leniency in the fight would lead to defeat. Pashya etam Panduputrana. Pashya, see, okay. We all see, <laughs> we all see. For example, imagine uh, India, Indian army and Pakistan army seeing each other. For what they see? To kill each other. Huh? To kill each other or to fight each other. Not uh, selling some rasagulla or something like that. So they all joined for what? But still he is telling Pashya Yetam Panduputrana. The word itself will understand more and more. He is actually scolding Duryodhana, uh, Dronacharya. <laughs> Internally he is scolding. Pashya Yetam Panduputrana. Provoking Dronacharya. He wants to provoke so that he can fight. Because Dronacharya was equally affectionate to Pandavas. Equally affectionate for them. He likes Pandavas. In the case of Drupada, when uh, uh, at the end of uh, uh, their studies, Kauravas in Pandavas, he asked Guru Dakshina, what is that Guru Dakshina? Go and capture Drupada. All hundred sons went of Kauravas, then they couldn't do it. Then Pandavas went and Pandava could capture. This story is all of you know. Okay. This way, not only that, he otherwise also, they like. That means Drona likes Pancha Pandavas, very nicely. Okay, no doubt. So, this is what very important. He wants to promote Pandaputrana. Even though you suppose not to teach these guys, <laughs> why you have taught all these things? Because of you teaching like this, they are now becoming you know, against us. And they only form big phalanx. See, Mahatincham, even though in exile they were there. And they had not power, any power. We had full power, but still, immediately after the exile, fight happened, no, almost immediately. But still, they could accumulate how many Kshonis? It's astonishing, actually. Astonishing. They are just 11 in that sense. Whole life they have ruled. <laughs> but these Pandavas couldn't rule even you know, that many years. In fact, they didn't rule, actually. And they could accumulate, collect so many, seven Akshonis. So that is also Mahatim Chamu. Because of you only, Pranacharya, because of all you. Not only that, you also did one more mistake. Vyudham Drupada Putrena Tavashishena Dhimata. And you accepted Drupada's son. He says Drupada. He could have said Drushta Dhimna. But he says Drupada because uh, Dronacharya has an anger with Drupada. No? So by that also he pokes, he pokes, he makes him angry. He tries to make him angry. So Drupada, he uses the word Drupada Putra. Drupada Putra is Drishtadimna. And he formed the military phalanx for Pandavas. And he is Dhimata, means you are not intelligent. He is telling his guru only you are not intelligent. For example, when we started our class, we or whatever we do, the first what we do, Srila Prabhupada Pranam Mantra or Guru Pranam Mantra, we do. Correct? All our auspicious begin starts with Guru Mantra. Bhagavad Gita, what happened? Started with Uttarashtra, but Duryodhana, what he did? He offended his own Guru. Guru can understand that actually. Means it is they are going to fail only. It is a symptom that they will lose, no doubt about it. Because they offended their own Guru. So it's very, very dangerous. This is what learning we have to do. We should never, never uh, offend our Guru. It's very difficult to get Guru and Shastra. It's not so easy. Many, many lifetimes we need to get such Gurus like Srila Prabhupada. So in our, specifically in our ISKCON, we have great, great honor to Srila Prabhupada. We consider him as Acharya. Not only consider he is actually Acharya. So that's why we say Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada, because what he has done, we cannot even speak little also, that much he has done. In his ripen age, he has done so much. Whatever we are doing now, 
it's only because of Srila Prabhupada. And he has written so many literatures. He has translated to English. That's why we are all able to read. Sanskrit, how many of us can read? Bengali, how many of us can read? Very rarely, maybe. Very rarely. We can't understand. We may read, but we can't understand. And as it is, as it is, is very important. As it is, because not everyone translates as it is. They put their own. Srila Prabhupada says, it's not I doing it. It's because of Krishna's influence. He gives everything to Krishna. That is actually the real Guru. So let all of us have that opportunity to congregate ourselves and follow in the footsteps of Srila Prabhupada. We are all Srila Prabhupada Anuga. Anugas. An Prabhupada Anugas. Means, obviously, Prabhupada Anugas. Prabhupada also. So very much appreciated that we should not offend our Guru. And we should not offend Shastra. Offending Guru and Shastra same. No? Because Guru follows Shastra. So if you offend Guru, it is offending Shastra. Also. That's why the word Shishya and Shastra is very close. Both are uh, eradicating the ignorance. Eradicating the ignorance. Shishya is coming close to Guru for what? Time pass? No. He comes to remove ignorance. That's why he is Shishya. Shishya. One who wants to learn. Okay. So, Drishta Dhyumna. And Drishta Dhyumna's story, you know, Drishta Dhyumna came out of Agni to defeat or to kill Drupada. Okay. Because, sorry, Dronacharya. So, Drupada, when he got half of the land, half of the land after this incident, he got angry. And then he made tapasya and he invoked Agni and two, two, two personalities came, Drishta Dhyumna and Draupati. Okay, Drishta Dhyumna is meant to kill him. But still, who taught? Dronacharya taught him this Shastra. <clears throat> Very interesting, no? Prashetam. <laughs> Prashetam. Word itself says that how Kirupur mindset he has. It's a normal seeing, okay, Pashetam, Pandaputranam, Acharyam. Okay, everyone joined together and, and they are seeing each other. Okay, fight happening. But inside, so much of deep meaning is there. Not this one. So, next verse. Next, he describes, Duryodhana describes, who and all there in his uh, Pandavas party. Who and all there. Because he's, he's seeing everyone. He's everyone seeing everyone. Specifically Pandava's part. Inside he has fear. Inside lot of fear is developing. Because he can see so many. So many Maharatas. Tiratas etc. So much of capability. He thinks that it's not possible. Even though we have many. But still it's not possible. That's what he's thinking. That's why he goes close to his Guru. Actually, it looks like that he goes close to Guru to take some advice, but with fear only he goes. With fear only actually he goes. Naptrasura Maheshwasa Inarjuna Samayuthi Nilutano Viratascha Drupadascha Maharataha Here in this army are many heroic bowmen equal in fighting to Bhima and Arjuna. Great fighters like Yuyudhana, Virata and Drupada. Even though Drishtadimna was not a very important obstacle in the face of Dronacharya's very great power. He is not very great in, the, in, the, in front of Dronacharya. Drishtadimna is not very great. We will understand that how he killed Dronacharya. Very great power in the military art. There were many others who were causes of fear. They are mentioned by Duryodhana as great stumbling blocks on the path of victory because each and every one of them was as formidable as Bhima and Arjuna. He knew the strength of Bhima and Arjuna and thus he compared the others with them. Shura Maheshwasa Bhima Arjuna Samaya. Okay. So we will understand how Drupada. Sorry, this our uh, no Dronacharya left. Okay, how cheating happens? 
How cheating happened, do you know, no? How cheating happened? Uh, our uh, Dronacharya didn't believe in it. Even Krishna he didn't believe in this sense. He asked, really my son died to Yudhishthira? Really my son died? Because Yudhishthira, our uh, Ashwatthama, Ashwatthama had a boon. What is that? He is a Chiranjini. How can he die? That's what already know. So already know for uh, Dronacharya. So he asked Yudhishthira, really? He died? And he says yes. But mind in, inside he said, not he. Elephant. Ashwatthama Hatu Hatha. Hati. Hati. Okay. So, lie only, but however, that will not touch. <laughs> in this way, he understood that and he lamented. And he just started sitting and meditating. Because he, ha he has a great power, he can go out from this body and go everywhere and, and search. Okay? From, out, from the body, the soul can go out and can search. In that situation, Krishna asked, this is the time kill. <laughs> Immediately kill. Arjuna, Arjuna was very angry for this. Very, very angry. How can you kill like this? But they took an advantage and he killed. Mr. Dumna chopped his head. Okay? And when, obviously, after chopping, how he can come? Soul, soul cannot come. And he searched. He got to know it is there. However, <laughs> this is the case of death of uh, yeah, Dronacharya. Yudhana. Yudhana. Who is Yudhana? Any idea? Satyaki. Yudhana means Satyaki. Who is Satyaki? Satyaki. Krishna's Angarakshaka is. Or army you can consider. Bodyguard. How much strong he will be? Modi ji's bodyguard, how strong? He's the best, best among army, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking like that. Strong should be, you know? Strong in intellect, etc., etc. Et okay? Strong should be. Like that Lord Krishna's personal bodyguard kind of thing. How strong will be? And he's not only that, he's student of Arjuna. Student of Arjuna. How strong Arjuna? Students of Arjuna also. So by seeing him, fear happening. Then Virata. Who is Virata? Virata Raja. Abhimanyu's father in law. Virata is Abhimanyu. Uttara's father. Okay. Virata Raja. Drupada, you already know now. These are called Maharatha. So there is Atiratha. Atirathas are not mentioned. For example, B, Maj, etc. Ati, atiratas. Okay, Atiratha means what? They can kill unlimited people, unlimited Yodhas or bowmen. What is what is that called? Soldiers, not soldiers, more than soldiers. Okay. And Maharatha means 10,000. 10,000 soldiers. Sarma killed lacks actually. So much capacity. Atiratha is kind of Atiratha. So these are called as Maharataha. And Yodha means one who kill one person. And Ardharati. Ardharati means he need help to kill one person also. He need help from someone to kill one person. One not person, one Yodha. This is about Yudhana, Virata and Drupada. Next verse we will go. There are also great heroic, powerful fighters like Drashtaketu, Chekitana, Kashi Raja, Urujit, Unti Bhoja and Shaibhya. So these are also great fighters. Narapungava. Some are Viryavan, some are Narapungava. Drashtaketu. Who is Drashtaketu? Any idea? Drashtaketu. Any idea? Huh? Okay. Mr. Ketu is son of Shishupala. 
son of Shishupal. And they, he joined the party of Pandav only. Pandav only. And I, as I remember, Nakula's wife and another wife, obviously. Wife is sister of Trishtaketu, as I remember. Trishtaketu. Okay, belonging to Yadava. Okay, Yadava dynasty. And uh, as we know, uh, Shishupala was uh, born with uh, several limbs, you know, four, limbs. four hands or whatever. I don't know exactly how many limbs. Four hands, yes. three eyes, okay, all these. Okay. And it was not normal, not common. His mother was thinking what is happening. Then Ashari Ravani came. So whoever see him, that person, if someone sees him, if he gets normal, then that person will kill Shishupala. When Krishna came, he became normal. Then Krishna's aunt, she is, and aunt asked, please don't kill my son. Why you have to kill my son? So like this. Then he said, no, I will not kill. But if he, if he offend me hundred times, then I will kill. This is the incident happened during the Rajasuya Yaga. And he started, started uh, offending Krishna so much. He offended Krishna, he didn't worry only. He was thinking, okay, nice. Nice, nice, very nice. Because he will not get angry so easily. So nicely offended. And he started offending everyone. Kaurav also. Duryodhana also got angry. You just, everyone are getting angry. All. So everyone is started getting angry. By seeing that, because in Rajasya Yaga, it will not complete if blood falls. Blood falls. So, like, as we discussed before, Bhima, Arjuna and all getting angry. Imagine if they go and hit Little blood also can fall, finished. Rajasayaga becomes waste. Then what Krishna did? Great surgery. <laughs> Great surgery. Without blood, he chopped off his head. Without blood, blood, one drop blood also didn't fall. He chopped. This way he left God. Then obviously, next king was Dhrishtaketu. And this Dhrishtaketu was very favorable to Pandava. And he has taken the side of Pandava. Then Chekitana. Chekitana is another Yadava. Okay. Some people say it's belonging to uh, Drishtaketu's family only. I am not very sure. So Chekitana. Kashi Raja. Kashi, you know, no? Where is Kashi? Now it is called as Kashi only. Varanas. 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 Okay. Kashi Raja. Okay. These are all called Viryaman. Viryaman is very potent. Very heroic and very protect. Then Urujit and Kunti Bhoja. These two are name itself said. Indication Kunti. Both are brothers of Kunti, Mama, Pandavas Mama. Okay. Urujit and Kunti Bhoja. Shaibhya is Mama for uncle for Yudhishthira. Yudhishthira's one more wife's father. Okay. One more wife's Father, they are all called Nara Pungava. Nara means what? Among human beings, they are well, very nice people. They are Pungava, very, very nice behavior people, very nice personalities. Shaitya, Purujit, and Punti Bhoja. So, Drishtaketu, Chekitana, Kashi Rajascha, Viravan, Purujit, Kunti Bhojascha, Shaitya, Nara Pungava. Again, I know. It's not there. It's okay. It's okay. Yudhamanyuscha Vikranta Uttamaujascha Viryavan Saubhadro Draupadeyascha Sarvayeva Maharathaha Yudhamanyu Manyu and Uttamauja. These two are great warriors from Panchaladesha. Okay. Great warriors from Panchaladesha. Yudhamanyu and Uttamauja. Saubhadra, who is Saubhadra? Subhadra, who is Subhadra? Krishna's. Sister, Jagannath, Baladev, Subhadra. Okay, you know it. In the middle. Okay, Mother Subhadra. Subhadra is Lord Krishna's sister and wife of Arjuna. And their son is Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu's son is Parikshit Maharaj. Okay, Uttara. Abhimanyu Uttara's son is Parikshit Maharaj. Subhadra. Okay. 
and Draupadeya. Draupadeya means who? Draupadi's son. How many sons Draupadi's had? Five from five Pandavas. Cha. Cha means what? In, in, in Sanskrit, Cha means and. Means not ended there. Other sons, like like one more personality, Ghatotkacha. You know Ghatotkacha, no? Bhima's son. He was very ferocious. He fought like anything. And finally, Karna has to use a weapon which he has saved for killing Arjun. Duryodhana said, use that. Otherwise, we will all die. That much potent. Krishna was aware that this will happen. But still, because he was Rakshasa, he has to die. He had Rakshasa, he has to die. He was so ferociously fighting like anything. And finally, the Shakti Bana, it's called Shakti, weapon Shakti, is used against uh, Gatotkacha. So this way, Gatotkacha left body. There are Yudhamanyu, Uttamauja, Panchaladesha, Subhadra, you know, Draupadi, you know, they are all great warriors. Next verse. Done. Okay. So now we will discuss more about this. Slowly, we will understand about Karna and Ekalavya. <laughs> it was appendix. It was <laughs> I was keeping late. If it doesn't finish in time, then I thought I would discuss. Okay. Ekalavya and uh, Karna. Karna is a personality. In his previous life, previous, previous, all lives, he was Rakshasa. Called it? Sahasra Kavacha. Means thousands Kavacha. Thousands Kavacha. To remove that, who came? Nara Narayana. Nara Narayana. Nara Narayana. When Nara used to do tapasya, Narayana will kill. When Narayana used to tapasya, Nara will kill. So in the last Kavacha state, okay, last Kavacha state, and he got fear. And he went to Surya Bhagavan. Please protect me. Surya Bhagavan said, okay. Then he realized there he is going against to his worshipping deity Narayana and Narayana. Then he said, this is not possible. Not at all possible. But I can give one more life extension for, for, for you. But you will definitely die from them only. You take care of whatever you want. So this way, Kunti you know, got the boon from Surya Bhagavan and he born. You know. So this is how uh, he is like, what is that? How Mungusi? How Mungusi means what? How how means snake? Mungusi means what is Mungusi? Mangus, Mangus. If you separate them and keep and bring together, they will fight on. See, from birth only, it is like that. Karna and Arjuna birth only fight. <laughs> from birth only, enmity is there. So they, they are meant to do that only. They are born to get that only. So this way from childhood they had very great enmity. And Karna tried to cheat and learn from whom? Huh? Parashram. Dronacharya's teacher also Parashrama. Means he also learned from Parashram. And he cheated Parashrama saying that I am Brahmana. Huh? Uh -huh. Ah, sorry, I am Kshatriya. I am Kshatriya. Hmm? Parashurama won't teach Kshatriya. He came as Brahmana. Hmm. Parashurama won't teach Kshatriya. He, he came as Brahmana that he will not teach. He will learn, but he will not use it. He will teach only. For the purpose of teaching Arkiri, Brahmana is supposed to do, not for using it. Okay. But finally, what happened? You know the instance. He was tolerant. He was very tolerant. Some wound happened, you know, that some some creature came and started biting and Parashrama was laying down on the lap and blood started oozing and blood came close to the ear. Then he got up and understood that this cannot happen for Brahmana. This is Kshatriya. Then he said, you cannot remember when time comes. This is how. This is how uh, uh, Karna got the knowledge, but he couldn't actually. Every time he got defeated only all this time. In every age, every Situation, he got problems only. So this way, Karna got a big problem. And Ekalavya, who is actually belonging to Jarasandha's dynasty, 
Okay. And Jarasandha is very great enemy of for Lord Krishna. And uh, this Ephilavya is very, very strong. And uh, Kshatriya blood, even though Dronacharya asked thumb, but still he didn't stop studying. He further educated himself. He was ready. That's why Krishna was observing and Krishna killed him. So this we, uh, both of them are not so great. That's why we see one-sided in all these serial. One-sided. They say Karna is great. Karna is, yes, he ha- he's great for what? Only one reason, because he came, came from Kunti Maharani. That's why he had a great quality. What is that great quality in Karna? Dhana. Dhana Shura Karna. Dhana Veer Karna. Dhana Shura Karna. Okay. That's the only good quality he had. Otherwise, not many good qualities he had. But there are many in the both parties who are good. For example, Dronacharya was very good. It's not that he is not good. Uh, then Vikarna, no? Vikarna. Vikarna, you know? Who said, uh, why you are doing all these things during the time of disrobing Mother Draupadi? Should not be done. And at the end, when he died in the hand of uh, Bhima, he said, Bhima said, I don't want to kill you. Okay, I don't want to kill you because you're so righteous. You're so righteous. Whatever problem happened, you're righteous. But still you followed. He followed, but he, he was righteous. He's happy to die from the hands of Bhima. And even he, some says that he asked to do last right to Bhima only. You only do last right for me. This way. And another person is Yuyutsu, I think. Yuyutsu. Another son of uh, uh, Dhritarashtra, another son of Dhritarashtra, he changed the party. He came to the side of uh, Pandava. I think he didn't die also. I'm not sure. He died. He also didn't die, no? He didn't die also. So I think 11 people were there who didn't die. Krishna, five Pandavas, six Hovya, Virata, no, so Satyaki, not Virata, Satyaki, Kirtavarma, Ashwatthama didn't die. Kripachari. Yeah, 11 approximately. Yeah, we'll stop here. If you have any doubt, it's almost 43, 543. Yeah. If you have any question, we'll go ahead. Otherwise, we'll conclude. One thing, one more thing. We are all reading all these things. You may think that for this yoga, Harinama is very, very important. What is the necessity to chant Vishtadyumna, all these things? Srila Prabhupada says, Whichever connected to Krishna, we should connect. For example, all of us think that it's very important. Srila Prabhupada in his one of the lectures says that many people think that uh, this 10th canto of Bhagavatam directly, because that is directly Krishna. Okay, directly personification of Krishna. We'll go ahead to and read 10th canto and avoid this Bhagavad Gita, etc. There are such cults in uh, Vrindavan and all, they don't read Bhagavad Gita. They don't want to read Bhagavad Gita. Srila Prabhupada says, and they directly read all these great authorities. Like that. <clears throat> but that is wrong. Srila Prabhupada says, it is wrong. All are equal, he says. All these kind of pastimes, whichever connected with Lord Krishna are equal, we have to consider like that. Otherwise, it is an offense to Lord. Because Lord personally involved there. Personally involved. And we are not you know, trying to. But one, should, one thing has to be kept in mind. Purpose is chanting. These are all helping us to understand that chanting is very, very important daily activity. Purpose is to do seva and chanting. Chanting is the first seva. Okay. First seva. Taking the name of the Lord is also seva. I was thinking how this can become seva. But yes, because seva is nine types of seva. What are they? Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam. Okay. These are the three first. Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmani, Vedam. Okay. These three things happens while chanting. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Kirtan happens. Huh? Shravana happens. And Smriti, remembrance. For example, we chant and sleep. Next day morning, mostly it happens that we remember Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna comes in the mouth. 
you try mostly it happens initially we have to try but eventually then you sleep chant and sleep hare krishna hare krishna 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 sleeping also hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare like that till sleep and when we get up automatically it will come that is why memory smartavya satatam vish smartav nakshatra okay stop here if you have question we'll discuss otherwise we'll come through Yes, please. 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 Yes,